Welcome back to another system test with the Firelight MS9200 Addressable Fire Alarm Control Panel. This panel is normally wired into this voice evacuation system here, but it is not today. Today we're only going to be having horn strobes, and the horn strobes that we have are EST Genesis's. This is the Genesis series, and these are actually the Chime models. This one right here is set on 75 Candela and the horn is set to continuous but it's a chime strobe so it's not going to be going continuous it's more of like a pattern you'll see it's not code 3 though this is a gentex commander but we won't be testing that today and here is a second genesis this one is also a chime strobe and its strobe is set on 15 candela as you can see so today for this test we're just going to test each smoke detector except for the duct detector so we're just going to go boom 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 and uh, we'll be using smoke centurion and I guess we'll hit a pull station in there too so this right here is a firelight SD355 addressable photoelectric smoke detector and let's go ahead and test it simulating a real fire with smoke centurion which is simulated smoke here we go this will probably take a second Here we go. Both these are synced. And as you can see, there is no audible silence in this test. And let's test the next smoke detector. This is a System Sensor 2400 photoelectric. Here we go. There the alarms go again. The System Sensor 2400 is actually a conventional smoke detector, and this is an addressable system. So in order to have this on the system, I had to wire it in through this zone interface module right here, which basically makes it addressable. Alright, I guess we'll pull a pull station now. Hmm, which one should we pull? So many to choose from. <laughs> I guess we'll pull this one today. This is a Firelight BG12LX addressable pull station. You can tell it's adjustable because it has a little blinky light in there. Alright, here we go. Push in, pull down. And like I said earlier, both those chimes are synced. So it sounds like it's only one alarm, but that noise it's making is actually coming out of both these. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. All right, now we'll reset this pull station. It doesn't need a key because the little tab right here is broken that normally holds the pull station closed. So you can just pull it and reset it. All right, now we'll test the final smoke detector on the system. You might be thinking this is a smoke detector, but it's not, this is a heat detector. And then I mentioned already we wouldn't be testing the duct detector. So here we go. This right here is a Firelight SD355 photoelectric smoke detector.
silence in system. All right, we've tested all the smoke detectors, but that kind of seems like a short system test. So what the heck, let's just pull all of the addressable pull stations. Here we go. I've never done this before in a video. So as you can see, it doesn't really have a noticeable change in terms of the alarms and what they sound like and everything. But if you look at the fire alarm control panel, and this will be the same for most addressable systems, you can then scroll and see that there's multiple alarms coming up. So if that hap ever happened in a real building, you'd know something was up. <laughs> all right, let's reset all of these. Well, these are all Firelight pull stations, so I got the Firelight key right here, and it's all ready to go. Here we go. I guess that one you don't need it. And let's get the rest of these. Come on. Do, 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 do. Just resetting pull stations. A day in the life. <laughs> All right, there we go, they're all reset. And I guess now we can reset the fire alarm control panel. All right, everyone, that was kind of a fun system test, I'd say. Let's lock the panel. Thank you for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.